My name is Steve Thomas. I'm the manager of aviation for Marathon Oil. I was going downtown to the Marathon Tower for a meeting and um, just routine. The traffic was heavy and by the time I got just within a short distance of the tower, I felt a uh, pain in my chest and, and I didn't really know what it was, but it just got progressively worse. The day before we had CPR and AED training and it's like you start talking to yourself, to, am I having a heart attack or not? And you're going back and forth and then I really did think I was having one. So I wanted to get into the Marathon building uh, for help because I knew help would be there. I asked a lady to help me, she called 911. The call came into uh, to the medical department from our, our uh, tower security people, and uh, of course the protocol uh, is that they will respond. The security tower security folks respond to medical emergencies, but they always call us, understanding and knowing that we may or may not be able to respond. And thankfully, uh, when this uh, when this event happened, it was in the parking lot. Uh, someone on our staff, Paul LeBlanc, was able was there and able to take the call and able to respond. Well, I kind of took over, assessed him really quick. Uh, put the AED on him and then analyzed it and it said right away shock so everybody got back and we, we, we shocked him and I uh, continued CPR on him and then all of a sudden he opened his eyes and sat up so that was the first time in my 20 years I've ever had a patient actually open his eyes and want to sit up and uh, within a few minutes was responsive enough to talk and, and understand where he was and give us his name and that is a first you know and I think what contributed to that was the time um, the timeliness of somebody calling, the, the, the ability to get down there, you know, God was on his side, um, that, that I just happened to grab the AED, uh, and they had enough fortitude to tell me that it was chest pain, or, you know, they're, they're, everything just kind of fell in line uh, to be successful. The ambulance came, picked me up, and took me to the hospital. They took me to the Heart and Vascular Institute over at Memorial Hermann. While I was in there, I had another heart attack. It started getting worse again. They quickly took me up to the cath lab and uh, did a procedure and, and put the stent in. And while I was doing the catheterization, my heart stopped again and they shocked me one more time. So uh, it all happened very quickly and, and unexpectedly. And then by the time you're done, it's like it's all over. It's, you just don't, it's surreal what you think of. One of the doctors came out and talked to me, explained all the events up until the moment that we were at, and he drew a picture and um, told me that they would take me back in a little bit and they would let me see him. And, um, and at that time, all the marathon people were around me. I had lots of support and love. It was all a miracle that day. He couldn't, uh, there was more than one. Everything fell into place with the, uh, being in the right place, being with Marathon, the people that trained and, and put these policies in place to train their people and to have AEDs available, um, to getting to the right hospital to have the correct procedure done and, and as fast as possible. So from the time that response began, from the time Steve went down, to the time he ended up in the cath lab at a local medical facility was about 30 minutes. And it's just unbelievable, unheard of. We had calls from the cardiologist uh, telling us um, you know, that we really, in fact, saved his life, or the response effort saved his life. So um, it, was, uh, it was an ama amazing response from Marathon employees and uh, the tower security folks, and, and, and then uh, you know, Paul and my staff as well. So uh, I think Steve is very fortunate. He understands and knows that he was very fortunate but uh, clearly uh, the HA, um, uh, CPR anytime training, uh, uh, you know, contributed to that life-saving effort. Uh, I'm back to 100%. The, uh, everything that you can do now is a, is a normal life. Everything I do with my family is normal. Every day is a gift, so do what you can. Try and fill it up with, it, with uh, memories. And, and, and your work is part of your life, and fill that up with memories. The, the recovery's been great. The, the doctors have been great to me. Um, uh, I, I've had two, two checkups now, and I'm back to 100%, and 
So from there, from now on, it's like every day is a gift. It really is a gift, and everybody has that same gift.